Hello and welcome to the Halloween edition of the Bearcat News. It is October 30th and I am Bree Penrod. I'm Olivia Spradlin. And I'm the newest member of the news team, Michaela McDonald. The Chillicothe JCs and Evening Lions Halloween Parade is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Sunday at 2 a.m. Daylight saving time goes into effect. Remember to set your clocks back one hour. A reminder to students and staff that Tuesday is election day. Head out to the polls and vote yes for Paint Valley's permanent improvement renewal levy. Forms were passed out this week to the students about scheduling parent-teacher conferences. Please return those next week. Conferences for the district are Thursday from 4 to 7 p.m. Next week looks fun for the elementary. Book fair is going on all week from 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. and from 4 to 7 during parent-teacher conferences. Be sure to stop by the high school library to check it out. The middle school is having a fall fun fest on Friday. It begins at 8.15 in the morning and continues until lunch. There will be a class versus class games, a hay ride, a bonfire, and snacks. Be sure to dress warm. A junior high dance will be that evening from 7 to 9 o'clock p.m. All middle school students are welcome. In high school news this week, Cadet Corps is handing out candy tonight at OUC. Monday is a busy day. Quiz Bowl will have their first scrimmage at home against Adina. Um, Anime Club meets and the FFA fruit sale ends. If you haven't brought your bought your Florida Fresh fruit from FFA, please see any member or ask Mr. Peters for details. Tuesday's events include Bible study and an FCCLA meeting, both during lunch. Wednesday, there's a science club meeting at lunch. They are raising money for a spring trip to the Bahamas for a marine biology study. Donate to their GoFundMe page. Then on Thursday at 9 a.m., there's a senior meeting in Mrs. Mason's room to vote for graduation announcements. Science club parents meeting will be held Thursday evening at 7 p.m. FCS will be held during lunch on Friday and all high school students will be participating in Fun Fall Fest from noon to 2.45 p.m. Remember to dress warm. Yearbook staff is selling travel coffee mugs for $8. Please see Mrs. Rupp or a yearbook staff member to purchase yours today. Supplies are limited. In Ag News, John Henson, Nick Robinson, and Maria King completed a frame for the veterans, six and a half by six and a half feet, that will be displayed in the Senior Center. Congratulations to our newest student of the week, Joey Knox. He is being rewarded by Mr. Yuri for his honesty and integrity. In college news, ACT prep for the December ACT will start on Monday, November 2nd. The free prep course is available to juniors and seniors. It is offering all periods daily. Sign-ups are available in Mason's room, Mr. Mrs. Salomon's room, the South Central Power, Heralto Auger and Elks Scholarship applications are also available in room 23. We would like to congratulate Brianna Mark on her acceptance to Kent State University. Well, that's it for us. Now to Bryce Duncan and Nick Winland for the weather. The conclusion of the 2015 regular football season is tonight at Piketon. You may want to dress comfortably because we'll have temperatures in the upper 50s with winds that are light and variable. On Saturday, we'll have mostly cloudy skies with a high near 60 degrees, with winds out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday, November 1st, there'll be showers in the morning and then cloudy in the afternoon. Winds from the west-southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain, 80%. On Monday, November 2nd, rain showers are early, with overcast skies later in the day. A high of 66 degrees and winds from the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A chance of rain of 40%. On Tuesday, mostly sunny skies with a high near 70, winds from the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then on Wednesday, we'll have partly cloudy skies, a high of 72 degrees, with winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And finally, on Thursday, November 5th, we'll start off with a sunny morning with increasing clouds during the afternoon, highs near 70, winds from the south-southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Overall, it seems like a pretty cloudy week with some showers. Now over to Peyton Beachler and Austin Chapman for the sports. Congratulations to Madison Smith and Leah McFadden for receiving honorable mention All-SVC and All-District. 
Little Cats Volleyball game tomorrow, 11.30 to 1. Third through sixth grade that have participated, please attend. It will be in the high school gym. The cross country runners of the week are the amazingly handsome Austin Chapman and Emily Shewa Davis. They both PR'd from last year's Rye Grand Districts meet by a good 25 seconds. Fall sports banquet for junior high, high school volleyball, golf, and cross country is Monday at 6 in the cafeteria. Be sure to bring a covered dish. It's going to be some good eating. Wrestling conditioning continues next week right after school. Player of the game for the Adena versus Paint Valley game would have to go to Anthony McFadden. I definitely agree. He completed eight out of his nine passes, com totaling 220 yards, four touchdowns, and he also became the Paint Valley all-time leading passer. Paint Valley's final SBC matchup is tonight at Piketon at 7. Be sure to be all me on. Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween from, from the Paint, Paint Valley, Valley News Crew! Crew.